About less than 1% of you are using this automation. So today we're going to build a really simple three node error handler workflow. The system is designed to just do one thing. Anytime there's an error, it's going to go ahead and it's going to log it in a Google sheet. And then it's going to send you a message in Slack. And, and if you're using it for yourself, it's going to save you a lot of hassle. And if you're using it for clients, it's going to really, really impress them. This is super important, especially if you're building systems at scale, like for your clients, like you don't want to be in a situation where they have like an active scenario and they don't know that anything's wrong with it until the next day or several days later. So you want your clients to be notified as soon as something goes wrong with their system so that you can hop in or they can hop in and they can fix it. The system is also designed to log specifically what the error is so that they don't have to go poking around to figure out where it's coming from. So let's hop into NADN and let's start building it. So we're inside of N8N here, and I just have this really simple little automation. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Execute Workflow, and I'm going to come over to Telegram, and I'm just going to type in the word dinosaurs. And basically, all this is set to do is create a joke based off of the word that you hear. Kind of what the automation is, is sort of irrelevant. But, you know, uh, why can't you hear a pterodactyl go to the bathroom? Because the P is silent hilarious, right? So this is working fine, right? We can see that this automation is working. There are no errors. We have no issues. But if I were to come in and I were to disconnect this chat module here, and then go ahead and click execute. And I can say, you know, uh, let's do a joke about the library or something like that. We're not going to get any sort of response, right? Because the chat model is no longer connected. You can see we have this error here, you know, in the in the node, the joker, which is kind of creating the joke, just this really simple, tell me a joke about, and then from the message, right? So if you were a client and you showed up to work and, you know, your system wasn't working or what you were expecting to run wasn't running, like you'd be pretty upset and you'd have no way of knowing what was going on, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to build a really simple three node error handling workflow. So I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to call this error logger. Okay, and what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and search for the error trigger node. And I did find that this node only works with active scenarios. So you want to make sure that, you know, this is running with active scenarios. And I can go ahead and click fetch test event. And you can see this is just kind of some details that we might get from this, although we're actually going to get a lot more when we actually connect this up to the scenario. So I'm just going to go ahead and click save. And I'm going to go ahead and switch this to an active scenario so that it's always listening for my telegram message. And just come over here to the three dots. And if we go into settings here, you can see we have this section called error workflow, right? And if you come over here, you can just type in error and we have our error logger. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to connect this workflow to the error logger. And you can literally do this for any number of scenarios that you have. And so if I come back into Telegram and I can type in the word donuts, right? And this is listening for me to, you know, write to it, right? And we can see here that nothing's happening. If I come into executions here, we can see that we just got this error because, again, we disconnected the chat node, right? So we have this error. If we come into our error logger, what's really cool is that if we go into executions, we can come in here and, yes, this will say succeeded because the error logger actually worked. But if we open this up, we can see here now that we have, like, this entire chain of everything that went wrong. Right. So you can see here we actually have the URL of the workflow. We have what specific node it came from. We named the node the Joker down here. We can see what the actual error message is. And then we can see the actual name of the scenario. And so this is pretty cool. This is information that we can work with. If I just go ahead and click copy to editor, this is actually just going to open up that specific error case. And you can see here that we've actually pinned it to the trigger here. So we can actually begin to work with this data while we build out the rest of the flow. So all we have to do here is click the plus and we can go into sheets. And I have this Google sheet here, this error logger, which will just have the timestamp, the name of the workflow, the URL, the node, the error message. If you want, you can get access to this inside of the community. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this. And we can just come in here and all we want to do is we want to append a row in the sheet, which basically just means add a row. And so we're going to come in here and we're going to search for the error logger. Go like this. I'm going to choose the sheet and it'll just be the first sheet. And this is going to get all the names of the columns that we have. So timestamp, workflow, URL, node, and the error message, right? And I'll just go into the schema view because I think it's easier to read. And what we want to do first is we want to go all the way down to the bottom workflow. And just we can drag this and put that in there. The URL is back up at the top. And this is the actual URL of the workflow itself. So we can literally just go directly to it. And if we come down here into node, we can actually grab the name of the node that had the error. And then as well as the actual error message so that we know what went wrong. And I put this in the wrong place, so I'm just going to copy that and put that in here. That's the workflow name. For timestamp, we can just do brackets, and we can do now with the dollar sign. And you can see we have this weird format here, but if you just type dot, and then you can go to format. If we come inside the quotation marks here, we can just do space. We can do lowercase h, colon, mm, and then a, we can do this, so 5.54 p.m., just to have kind of like a nicer little format for us. And so if we just go ahead here, click out of this, and we can just go ahead and click execute step, 
we should see that this logs it over here once it's finished outputting. And if we come into our Google Sheet, now you can see we actually have the timestamp, the name of the workflow, the direct URL to that execution, the name of the node that there was an error in, and the actual error message itself. So this is super, super helpful for us to keep track of everything that's going wrong. Next thing we can do, we can just come over here and we can go ahead and connect this up to Slack. And we can just go down here to send a message. And we wanted to send a message to the channel. And I'll just select from the list and that'll be the build room. And the text message here, we can just say, open this up a little bit. We can just say, there was an error in the workflow. Actually, I'm just going to close this really quick, change this to expression in the workflow. And we can come down here. We can pipe in the name of the workflow. And we can say at, and we can go ahead and do our same now dot format the error was in the node go here and we can come into node we can do this with the error message so now this way we basically can go ahead and we can actually get notified as soon as there's an issue so now if I go ahead and I click execute step we can come into my Slack channel and you can see here there was an error in the workflow dino jokes at this time of day on this date. The error was in the node the Joker with the error message, a model subdode must be connected and enabled. If we want, we can actually go in and we can add go to workflow. We can actually just pipe in that URL from the top as well. So now if I click execute step, we can come into Slack and you can see here there was an error in the workflow. Here it is. And if we just click go to workflow, it's actually going to take us directly to that workflow and not just the workflow It's actually going to take us directly to the execution that had the error. And so now that we have that all set up, let's just go ahead and make sure we're testing this end to end so that there are no issues. So if I come back into Telegram and I can say pizza, right, because I want to, you know, tell me a joke about pizza. I'm not getting any sort of message back. I want to know what's happening. I can come into Slack and you can see there was an error in the workflow dino jokes at 5.57 p.m. Here's a node, here's the issue. And then if I come in here, we can actually go directly to the workflow. And then if I go ahead and I come into the Google Sheet here, we can see we've actually logged a new error for the new time. So you have everything ready to go. Your clients will absolutely love this. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check the link in the description where you can hop into the community to learn how to get $5,000 or more a month using AI automation. I'll see you over there.